thing that they pulled the wallpaper off the wall and then left it behind anything that was attached to the wall. So behind the, the toilet there was wallpaper glued to the wall. Behind the magazine rack toilet paper holder there was wallpaper glued to the wall. I don't know, maybe other people don't see it the same way, but I don't like doing a half a job. So I'm going to go through and peel all this crap off before I paint this.
decided to use plywood for the back of it because otherwise I'm going to have to fight the grain and make sure that this doesn't split out. So we clamp this thing down. Couple of clamps. And just mark it out and cut out on the inside of the lines. This one's a little chewed up. Fortunately, this is the back side and is not a part of the visible section of the That is a problem with Yankee screwdrivers. If the bit gets chewed up or if the slot on the screwdriver gets chewed up, slot on the screw gets chewed up, they pop right out. This bit is in good shape, but that screw is pretty well hammered. Ahem. <coughs> 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 
You okay? Since even though these are square and I expect everything to be exactly the same, it's better to cut the trim and mark it. Number two goes to side number two, number one goes to side number one. That way you're not flipping back and
Not too bad. That's the waste out of the project. Okay.
thought such a simple box would take so much cutting and fitting? Well, I've got the trim done. I still have the bars to put on the inside, but we'll do that tomorrow. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.